Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Movie Minutes. Jordan here, and on today's episode, I want to take a, just a couple of minutes and talk about the very uh, treasured history, or continuity, rather, of the Halloween franchise. I've been talking with uh, some colleagues and some friends about the announcement about Jamie Lee Curtis coming back to the, to the franchise for the new film that's written and co-written by Danny McBride and longtime collaborator of his, David Gordon Green. The film comes out next year in October, is pr going to be produced by John Carpenter of the original Halloween, also writer of the second Halloween. And he might also score it. I'm going to put a link in the description to a post I wrote a little bit in detail about this announcement and ex exactly who's involved here. But as far as this video, I wanted to take a couple of minutes because it seems like a lot of people I talk with are not exactly sure where this film takes place in the continuity of the series because there are a few different continuities so I wanted to go over that. I'll pull up this graphic. Hopefully this helps. It's kind of medieval, I apologize. But as you can see we have the three different continuities. As of right now there are only two. This new one coming out next year will be a third one. As you can see all continuities kind of stem from the second Halloween. They all kind of forego uh, the existence of the other continuity for the sake of its own storylines. The one in the middle you can see goes Halloween, then it goes Halloween 2. Those both take place, uh, separate films made about three years apart, but they take place uh, in terms of story on the same night. At the end of the second one, and this, in and this will include spoilers, by the way, this will include spoilers for the movies. If you haven't seen these movies, probably go do that and then come back and watch this video if you are still confused. So Halloween and Halloween 2, again, take place on the same night. At the end of the second one, Dr. Loomis blows up a hospital to kill Michael Myers. But, of course, uh, you can't kill Michael Myers. And so, Halloween 4, the return of Michael Myers. Oh, and if you're wondering, by the way, I should probably interject real quick. Uh, Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, is its own standalone film. It does not take place in this continuity. Originally, John Carpenter and company were going to do uh, each Halloween movie every year was going to be its own kind of horror film. Kind of like Black Mirror or the different seasons of American Horror Story. But the critical response, uh, financial response, for number three was not great. People wanted Michael Myers back. And thus we get Halloween for the return of Michael Myers. That takes place about ten years, a whole decade after Halloween and Halloween 2, the night he came home. And so for we see Jamie Lloyd, who is now... They say in this continuity that Jamie Lee Curtis's character, Laurie Strode, who is revealed in Halloween 2 to be Michael Myers' sister, she's dead. She died in a car accident in this continuity. At least that's what they allude to. And so with her dead, Michael Myers, of course, uh, he needs a family member to kill. And so we get Jamie Lloyd, that's his niece, played by Danielle Harris, who is in the Rob Zombie continuity. She plays Sheriff Brackett's daughter. But... Of course, those aren't in any of these continuities. They're their own thing. So we're going to forgo Zombies films for this discussion. So he's trying to kill Jamie Lloyd. Of course, he doesn't in this film. And he comes back one year later next Halloween in Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers. These, have, these films have the most creative subtitles. But, of course, he doesn't kill her. So we get Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers. Now, this, the uh, mythology here, as each film progresses down, this continuity gets way more convoluted, uh, gets into cult territory, dealing with incest. Michael impregnates Jamie. This is six years after number five. So you got ten years in between Halloween 2 and Halloween 4, another year in between Halloween 4 and Halloween 5, and six more years in between Halloween 5 and Halloween 6. That's 17 years since the original Halloween night. So he's been at this for a while trying to kill off his family. And in this one, for some reason, instead of ending the family, which they talk about doing in Halloween 2, he impregnates Jamie Lloyd in the sixth one, has a, do has a, uh, a son with her, thus extending the, the family. So he's trying to kill this kid of his, plus the rest of the Strodes that are now living back in the original Strode house from the first movie, although obviously it's not really the house from the first one. They just say it is and we're supposed to believe it. Anyway, without delving into the completely compelling mythology that is the main continuity there, that's basically the gist of the main continuity. So you go to the left and you see there you got H2O and Resurrection. Halloween H2O 20 years later, Jamie Lee Curtis is back. Uh, that also takes place 
after the original night of Halloween 2, so it stems from Halloween 2. In this continuity, Jamie Lee Curtis is alive. Uh, Michael has hunted her down 20 years later after the original night. And again, spoilers, she chops off his head. So yay, it's over. 20 years later, we finally wrap this thing up, right? Wrong. Because as it's revealed, Michael Myers, at the end of H2O, crushed the larynx of an ambulance med, put the mask and his jumpsuit on him, took the med's clothes and put it on himself, thus confusing Laurie into thinking that the man behind the Michael Myers mask was actually Michael Myers, when in fact it was not, even though it is revealed in the flashback of Halloween Resurrection, he still continued to carry around his knife, which you think would be a dead giveaway. Anyway, as it turns out, Laurie, in this continuity, Laurie Strode chopped off the head of an innocent person. Uh, she goes to an insane asylum, and that's where we pick up at the beginning of Halloween Resurrection. Again, this is three years later. Michael Myers tracks her down at the insane asylum. The two have one last confrontation. He kills Laurie Strode at the beginning. That's right, the beginning of the film. So you know the rest of the film is going to be something very special. So... That brings us to the new Danny McBride continuity. This is going to be its own continuity, so says Danny McBride. It also is going to stem off from Halloween 2, the events of 4 through 6, as well as the events of H2O through Resurrection, will not have happened. This is going to be another timeline for Laurie Strode to live in. This, I guess we can call it Halloween H40. 40 years later, it'll be the 40th anniversary next year. I guess Jamie Lee Curtis just only comes back to this franchise once every 20 years. Anyway, guys, that was my breakdown of this continuity. I hope this picture and this description did something for you, was helpful in some kind of way. Now you can go forth this Halloween and watch the series knowing well what takes place when. And if you like this video, guys, click the thumbs up, subscribe. I have plenty more content, movie reviews, trailer reactions. Blu-ray unboxings, all that good stuff. You can also find my links to the so various social media in the description below, including my Movie Minutes blog, guys. And again, until next episode, thanks for watching, and take care. Mm -hmm.